Nailun, one more question for you. How does coming out of a triple dip La Nina affect things or does it at all? Again, an excellent question. I would say it does affect because we have seen prolonged drought in parts of the states, especially in the central Texas region, mm -hmm. which typically gets rainfall in May and October. Mm -hmm. um, so there are these, those two typical rainfall peaks mm -hmm. uh, during when our reservoirs have the inflows they need to get back up mm -hmm. to, they say, the full percentage of conservation storage. Mm -hmm. But since, um, I guess it was from 2021 mm -hmm. through to the present, we've had the, we haven't really had the good spring mm -hmm. rain, uh, fall rainfalls. Mm -hmm. Twen this year, while we got some good rains in May, mm -hmm. uh, parts of central Texas did not. Some parts got, but then we had really hot temperatures, which yes. almost negated any of the beneficial flows mm -hmm. we got from those mm -hmm. rains in May. In 22, we didn't get the spring rains. We got some deluges in August and September, mm -hmm. which ended up filling up the conservation pools in some of the reservoirs, like in the Dallas Metroplex region. Mm -hmm. But then in the winter time, we had warm temperatures. Mm -hmm. So that contributes to evaporation. And then um, as in central, in the lower Colorado River Basin especially, we've had record low inflows. And with multiple years of record low combined with extremely hot temperatures leading to more evaporation from the water bodies, we have a accumulated this deficit in storage. Mm -hmm. So those, the triple di dip La Nina very likely was a key factor mm -hmm. in that deficit we saw with our conservation storage. Um, and if we have an extreme El Nino following those three years of La Nina, mm -hmm. uh, maybe we'll just see some relief, mm -hmm. but whether we can really make up for that deficit uh, is to be seen. Yeah. Um, it, there had been one other event in the near um, historical period, so I'm thinking, say, 1950s to the present, in the 1970s, I think it was 71 to 73, where we had a, or maybe 73 to 76, where we had a triple mm -hmm. La Nina. But as far as I rec recall, that was not a period of extreme drought uh -huh. in the state. So this. So, three years in a row of La Nina or triple dip has mm -hmm. resulted in a significant deficit, mm -hmm. water supply deficit or in our reservoirs across the state. And then combined with the significant heat, mm -hmm. especially of this past summer, mm -hmm. a lot of the state is really very dry and hurting in terms of our reservoir levels. So all the more important that we conserve our water. Yes. yes. <laughs> and look forward and cross our fingers to hopefully better times in the months ahead. Conservation is key. Yes. So even in a good year, in a year yes. that it rains, we can do with less water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So.